This was strange and new, but maybe it's all connected to the trap of the totem door. Tintin and the Trap of the Totem Door is a board game by Jonathan. It was published in 1992. Eight ebony totems and the legendary Totem Door were stolen from the Ethnological Museum by Roberto Rastapopoulos. Tintin, Snowy and their friends go looking. Fake totems that pop up all over the world make their job difficult. Museum treasures can only be found again with the help of the magic box. Now on the board of the game we see different countries all over the world. Our heroes are traveling there in search for the totems. You see it's a standard game board like for example from Monopoly. The starting point for the players of course is Marlin Spike Hall. During the game the players get help from so-called adventure cards. Here we have several characters from the Adventures of Tintin or planes or weapons that can be used in the fight against Rastapopoulos. The cards are stacked on the board until they are needed. The totems get positioned each next to one country field. Some of the totems are fake and eight of them are not. The golden totem door is kept out of the game. The players can now choose their game piece, one of the characters of the Tintin Adventures. Rasta Popolos is there as their opponent. As mentioned, the starting point of the players is Marlin Spike Hall. Each player also gets an examination card with four markings on the side. The examination cards show the examination points that each player has. At the beginning of the game, each player has four points. The players are playing with two dice. One is showing the number of fields that the player can move forward, the other is for playing purposes. Okay, that's a 4. Who would have guessed? And the symbol on the other dice says that the player can take one card. But first things first, I play with Tintin of course and so I can move forward 4 fields. Now whenever one player reaches a field where a totem stands next to, he can examine that totem. The first time in secret so none of the other players can see it. He examines the totem by using the magical box. Now this totem falls out of the box so it's false. How does it work? Of course with a magnet. For comparison this is a real totem. If you stick it in the box it clicks to it. Now after the first the secret examination the player has to remember where the false and where the real totems are. When a player, no matter who, comes to a country field for the second time, he has to examine the totem in public so that everyone can see it. Like here, Haddock comes after Tintin and he's examining the totem, finding out that it is false. So the false totem has to be put aside and Haddock has to put one point from his research card. When the player does the second examination and finds a real totem, he can keep it. It counts as a point. As I stated before, the second dice says in this case that the player can take one adventure card. This card helps the player in his quest.
Now, if the second dice shows a number, the player can add one point to his research card. If the second dice shows the face of Rastapopoulos, the game piece of Rastapopoulos has to be put on another field. If another player is standing on that field, they have to fight against Rastapopoulos using the dice. Now, for each miss, the player gets one point subtracted from the research card. If the research card reaches zero, the player loses all the totems he has found yet. After that, the player gets four points on his research card again, but he has to go on with zero totems. When all real ebony totems have been found, the totem door is put on the field where the character of Rastapopoulos is standing. Now it is the quest of all the players to reach the field with the totem door. If the character of Rastapopoulos is still standing there, there has to be a fight first to win the totem. Of course, the fight is done by rolling the dice. When one of the players has won the totem door, the game is over. Now the totems are counted. Each ebony totem is one point and the totem door is two points. The player with the most points wins, of course. And let's take one more look at the adventure cards. As I said, there are character cards that are helpful. Then there are weapons cards that can be used in the fight against Rastapopoulos. And with the airplane cards, you can move across the board. So this is Tintin and the Trap of the Totem Door. It's an entertaining game for kids and adults alike. You have to think, act strategically and you need a bit of luck. Interestingly, the graphics used to create the game come from the poster for the second Tintin play. Hmm, but what is it about this golden totem? And what, 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 what?